Anthony and myself carried out a consultation to assess Natalie's natural texture and movement as well as her natural colour to be able to achieve a perfect colour that would suit the haircut. We then moved on to a creative consultation where we assessed her natural complexion and eye colour. We started off by dividing the hair into four sections. The True Light White was then mixed to preferred consistency. For this technique, we utilised a highlighting technique as well as a free and blending technique. We started off by taking horizontal partings. We then backcomb the hair and apply the true light onto the length and ends, leaving one inch on the root area. We repeated exactly the same process on the opposite side of the head. We then mixed a True Light Freehand Lightener with 30 volume, 9%. We then worked a freehand blending technique in between the foils to create a lighter effect through the length and ends. We then moved on to the side area. We used a classic highlighting technique combined with the freehand blending technique to finish the section off. Once development time was complete, we then used the gloss series for our classic toning technique. So we utilised the classic toning technique to apply the toner. We started off at the nape, finishing around the hairline. Once development time was completed for the toner, we then rinsed and removed using TG Copyright Care, finishing off with a booster treatment. This was applied from the root area through to the length and ends and developed for five minutes. Once the development time was complete, we then removed the booster for her to be ready for the haircut. Working with Natalie's hair, she's got very thick hair, so starting my parting at the front through to the nape at the back. Pulling the hair forward, taking our first section, again creating a very soft graduation and slide cutting the hair down. You can see we're only taking off the ends because working with curly hair, we want to keep maximum length and movement within the hair. But just creating a much more even texture and keeping the, the ends nice and clean. Work this all the way through to the back, which allows us then to blend from the front through to our length at the back. Work to the other side, using the front as a guide to create your lengths. Coming the front down, using the other side as a guideline to then slide cut down to create the same on the other side. Continue working, pulling all the hair forward, taking your section, just using slide cutting and just slightly texturizing the hair as you work your way down. You can see we're cutting very little, but that little bit allows the hair to really move nicely and perfect your style. So it's not always what you cut off, it's what you leave behind. Here, working with Natalie's hair, it's very thick, pulling everything forward to get that extra little bit of layering and graduation, but using the underneath as your guide to constantly follow and create an even shape. Using our heat protecting spray all over the hair, and then start to dry and push in the natural movement using your hands and your fingers. Work this all over the hair till you've completed drying the hair. Bending the hair around the fingers to create a natural wave. 
applying some split end repairing cream, placing this all over the hair. Copyright style and care helps you really touch the hair and work with it in a very natural way. You can see even though you're using finishing products, the end result is very, very loose and very soft. And there we have our look.